This is a review of the iPod Nano. It is the most current version, the fourth generation. Um, I have to be honest, after having an iPod Touch for so long, I never saw the point in having any other um, iPods. However, this little guy has turned out to be one of my favorite and most used iPods. Um, it's really simple to use. As you can see, it's, you know, barely bigger than the size. Um, it's like two inches by two inches, roughly. It snaps right here so it can attach to your jacket, your jeans pocket, um, a bag, pretty much anything you can clip it to. Um, it has the volume up, the volume down, and then the power button. Just hit it and it turns it on. I often use it on my watch accessory, so I keep it on the clock. Um, to ever change anything, um, that's all you do. You simply let me hold it still. I'm actually taping this on my iPod Touch so you can see the quality of an iPod um, recorder too. But see how you just slide it and that's how um, you get rid of something. This mainly holds music. Um, it is touch and it is visible which is different from the shuffle which doesn't have the touch screen fish, um, feature. And there's quite a bit of stuff you can do here. You can put your photos on through iTunes. I haven't put any of the photos on here, but I do use the feature with my other products. So if you want to, you know, you're out running and you want to show somebody um, a picture of your kid, you can just simply do that here. Um, Genius Mixes are your music where you go into iTunes and you turn on the Genius um, feature. And it takes all the music that you have and it puts them into um, like music so that... Um, you don't have to sit there and play with your songs, it just completely does it for you. Um, the one thing I wish this did do, it doesn't have a speaker, so you do need the headphones in it in order to use it, but uh, that's fine by me, because um, mainly when I use it, it's just for that purpose. Now you want to get out of that, you can press play, rewind, fast forward, or you can just slide completely out of what you're doing and go back. Um, you can do podcasts. You can use, actually this is pretty cool because you can, I don't have a radio signal right now, but um, I listen to the radio a lot. This is kind of an interesting feature to use when you're in a different town. You can see, you know, what different radio stations there are. If you're just, you know, sick of the music that you have on here. This holds tons of music. Um, my 16, um, iPod Touch actually has already exceeded and this is still holding um, pretty well. You can search by, you know, albums, genres, songs, composers, artists. I generally go in by artist and you can look at all albums or you can go in by individual artists. Um, and then say you go in and um, say like you can see the one song I have because she probably went in through a mix CD or um, if you have, let me just see here, a lot of these are mix CDs. I also found my high school stash of CDs in my mom's basement and I actually uploaded all of them on here. Um, so even though there's music that I wouldn't necessarily listen to, it's on here. I have the option. Um, all my kids' musics are on here. Um, it holds so much music, as you can see, like, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And, um, there's still plenty of room. So, um, what's nice is, let me just see, I'm trying to find someone. Like, she, I have on various different, um, I don't have her actual CD, but she's on various different ones. So you can go right in and, you know, see which ones I have. Another awesome feature that I didn't realize that this had is, it's called Fitness. And it's got the pedometer, and it keeps track of all your history. So um, you can time it. You can see how many calories. Um, it, it, it's got all this stuff. Um, the month, the total, the daily goal, the week, the day. And then you can go into your history, and you can see, like, your personal best, your workout totals, the months you've used it. Um, I don't use the feature often, but I have. Um, I want to get an armband, one of the accessories that this slides into, um, and I think I'd use it more. I find that when I run, 
I end up clipping it to my shirt and it doesn't track it as well. Um, let me just get out of here. And as you can see, I mean, I'm holding this in my hand and I'm controlling all of this with just my thumb. Um, the clock you can even change around and use. You can make it digital. Um, let me just see. You can time it. And a really cool thing, let me just see real quick. Um, right here, where is it? Let me get out of here. Say when it's in my watch band, I need it to go this way, but I don't want it on my wrist this way. Let me just see here. You just grab it and you turn it and see that how it just turns it's pretty cool I know I'm holding one with my, one hand but see you just physically turn it and it goes in any direction that you want that was something my 11 year old niece actually taught me she's got the same one and she lives off of hers um, now if you were to go back oop, get out of there now the whole thing's gonna be upside down because I'm gonna play with it differently it also has your general settings, so you can um, do music, general radio, photos, pedometer, you can um, go in. One thing that I really liked about here is um, I use this pretty much straightforward, so I don't play with my settings too much, but it has a volume um, control where you can actually um, lock the volume. So say um, Gavin wants to listen to this, I can um, see volume limit right here. You can go in and you can lock it into a certain volume and then lock it and so if a smaller child is using it or you have another child who is abusing the volume, you can lock it so that you know you can control how loud they can listen to it because surprisingly these are really loud and they're really um, clear. Um, so I just find that to be a really good feature. Gavin doesn't really listen to this too much but um, Johnny listens to his all the time and if I found out I'd want to be able to do that. Um, you can, you know, there's just so many options with this. Shake to shuffle, that's because if I want a different song, I just have to shake it and it goes to a different song. See, it just did that actually automatically because I shook it. Um, down below is where you plug it into the computer with the USB or you can get one of those adapters that I showed you in the iPod Touch review and you can plug it into the wall. And right here is the speaker feature. Well, you can plug in your earphones or the speaker. When I bring this to work, I actually plug it into the computer speakers and it sounds it through there. So I don't have to worry about, you know, there I had a radio that didn't have a working CD or a working tape deck or any of that. So I was stuck with a radio that barely came in. So this was a great feature if you're at work and you don't have access to a good radio or you're sick of listening to coworkers' music. Just, you know, bring it, hook it up into your... Um, work speakers and you can listen to all the great features there. This does retail for, um, God I should have had this right next to me, but I think it's about 150 You can go into any Apple store and look at them. They come in arrangement of colors. They come in um, pink, blue, black, green, um, you name it, white, silver. Um, so you can coordinate them to anything, um, your favorite color. Um, your favorite purse, you name it. Um, and they sell accessories like watches and um, armbands and stuff that go with them. And I always recommend going into Apple stores and checking them out because they have everything out and available so you can sit there and, you know, you can fool around with it and touch it and play with it and see just how much you love it right there. I promise though, once you get one in your hands, that you're going to walk out with one. You can also, I've noticed, check these out at both Target and Walmart. They carry them as well. So thanks for tuning in. This is the fourth generation iPod Nano from Apple.